Most people have a belief that is one or the other. Mm. So they believe it's brand or performance. And it's always and. So if you, if, for instance, if you're looking for a product, the difference between buying a product pretty much is t- tends to be the brand or if you know enough about the product. And typically that generally comes around some sort of brand awareness or, or word of mouth referral. So for me, when people say, oh, you know, but we really need to do more performance marketing or we need to do, we need to invest more money because then there's more ROI and CAC, payback period, et cetera, all these, you know, really important metrics. The one thing that most people forget is, uh, apart from if you're uh, really, ha- if you have a really strong PR campaign or really strong marketing behind it, it's all advertising budget. Mm. And typically advertising is, you know, you have to put quite a lot out there. Some businesses, it can take a year for a decision to be made. So actually you're spending quite a lot of money for a click without the education, without the hook and the, the brand perspectives. So for me, it's always an and. And one thing I'd say to most people and most of my clients is if people can't remember you once they've left the product, as in your SKU, mm. how are they ever going to come back to you? So they're going to have to research the keyword or you know go back onto Google, their preferred you know, AI tool or search engine now. And either try and remember it or remember the actual product name as opposed to like the generics. Mm. And very often people forget that. So they don't invest heavily enough in brand supported content, in capturing people people's attention up the top of the funnel, in the middle of it and at the bottom of it. And one thing I say to people is you're only you're really dilutable as a brand now, as a as a product. So if you don't quite hit it as from a product perspective, people are going to go away and research a cheaper alternative or another mm. alternative anyway. So you may, also, may as well have a brand promise, have a good product that people always come back to and remember. So um, there's always there's always going to be people that believe that brand isn't isn't strong enough and isn't going to be something that you should invest in. And there's always going to be people who say, oh, you have to invest more in performance. But as we've seen with uh, almost all D2C brands, the one problem that they've all had was they haven't had a strong enough brand and all they've done is gone after mostly generic terms mm. from a from a performance perspective and that's really hindered them. And really large businesses have struggled with trying to understand how and where to invest their money. Mm. And most, most successful, they spend a lot of money both in advertising but also in brand campaigns and marketing. Yeah, that's interesting. And I guess if you are building the keyword uh, with your spending, it, the chance of copycats coming you know they're going to see the volume and they're going to see that stuff and they'll be like oh we should build a brand here